From the Dignity Health Studio at the Bakersfield Californian, this is Strictly Business, presented by the Greater Bakersfield Chamber of Commerce. Sponsored in part by the Law Offices of Young Wooldridge, San Joaquin Community Hospital. And now here's your host, Cindy Pollard, President and CEO of the Greater Bakersfield Chamber of Commerce. Good morning, and thank you so much for joining us on this Monday, November 3rd, the day before Election Day. So make sure that you vote tomorrow. On today's show, we're going to be joined by Patrick Birchfield, a senior tax accountant of Brown Armstrong uh, Accountancy Corporation. He's going to be here to give us some end-of-the-year tax tips for small businesses. And then a little bit later in the show, one of my favorite people, Kira Wiggins of San Joaquin Community Hospital is going to be joining us to chat about flu preparedness and flu shots. But first, let's take a look at some news you can use. The general election is tomorrow, and of course, we wanted to remind you of a few important requirements regarding time off for voting. Employers are required to provide up to two hours of paid time off to vote if an employee does not have sufficient time outside of work to do so. Polling places are open from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. Employers do not have to pay workers for more than two hours off and can require employees to vote at the beginning or at the end of their work shift. Employees requiring time off to vote, however, must give employers two working days notice that they do need the time off. Employers also need to post a notice uh, notifying employees of their voting rights for at least 10 days prior to the election. And if you have purchased an all-in-one poster from the Greater Bakersfield Chamber of Commerce or a similar vendor, this notice is already included in that poster. Entrance fees at Yosemite National Park are set to take a 50% hike. For the first time in nearly two decades, the National Park is poised to bump up entrance fees for visitors. Park administrators are looking to increase the cost of driving into the park from $20 to $30 per vehicle, good for a seven-day visit, and increase the price of an annual pass from $40 to $60. The rate hikes, a way to offset rising park maintenance costs, would take effect next year. The additional revenue would fund such outlays as a remodeled uh, visitor service building, expanded public transportation, and rehab projects in the wild. Under the proposal, the admission cost for a hiker or a bicyclist would also increase from $10 to $15, and for a motorcyclist, from $10 to $25. Park administrators are considering raising camping fees as well. Current rates, which have been in place since 2006, range from $5 to $20 a night for family sites and $40 for group sites. The proposed hike would increase these rates to between $6 and $24 per night, for family sites, and a $48 for group sites. Business economists reported solid but slowing growth at their companies over the summer as gauges of sales, hiring, and profit margins fell slightly from the second quarter, according to survey results released last month. Despite concerns about economic conditions in Europe, respondents in the quarterly survey by the National Association for Business Economics said they were more optimistic about overall U.S. growth than they were in July. About 85% said that they expected total economic output, or gross domestic product, to expand by more than 2% over the next year. That compared with 77% who had those expectations in the last quarterly survey. The findings are in line with analysts' forecasts for solid economic growth in the third quarter, but a drop-off from a strong 4.6 annual rate in the previous quarter. Part of that robust second quarter expansion was the economy catching up from a weather-induced contraction over the winter. Sales growth at businesses slowed in the third quarter with 49% reporting rising sales compared with 57% in the previous quarter. The economists also weighed in on their expectations for when the Federal Reserve will start raising its benchmark short-term interest rate, which has been near zero since late 2008. About 77% said they anticipated interest rates to begin rising in the second half of next year or later. Their views are in line with those of the federal analysts. Foreclosure notices have dropped down to pre-recession levels in the northern San Joaquin Valley, a region that was the epicenter of the nation's foreclosure crisis from 2006 to 2011. And nearly 
85,000 homes in Stanislaus, Merced, and San Joaquin counties were repossessed by lenders during those years. Homeowners now apparently are better able to keep up with their mortgages. Default rates have declined dramatically, according to CoreLogic Quick Data. Only 242 notices of default were filed in Stanislaus during the third quarter of the year. Um, those legal notices are the first step in the drawn-out foreclosure process, which takes many months to resolve. Ten times that many default notices were filed during the summer of 2009, when Stanislaus's mortgage mess was at its worst. Grimway Farms is introducing true organic juice. Grimway Farms is very excited to introduce its new line of true organic juices to meet the needs of consumers in the super premium organic juice category. Joining us now to tell us a little bit more about the product is Bob Borda, Vice President of Marketing. Good morning. Thank you so much for being here. Good morning. Grimway Farms, I think carrots. What's with the juice? Well, Grimway Farms is much more than carrots. We have a potato operation where we sell retail potatoes, and we have an expansive organic vegetable operation okay. known as Cal Organic. Okay. So with our vegetables that we grow at Cal Organic, um, we're using some of those vegetables to incorporate into a, a super premium organic juice line. And a very delicious juice line, I might add. I had the opportunity to sip some of the bunched greens uh, during the break, uh, earlier, or actually before we started the show, and it's delicious. So in the bunched greens, you'll find kale leaves and lettuces and carrots and a lot of the various vegetables that we grow. We'll, we'll procure the fruit on the outside, but uh -huh. we blend those with, with our vegetables. What's unique about our, our true organic juice is we blend both fruits and vegetables in every drink that we have, with the exception of carrot juice. I, carrot I is just pure carrot. And, you know, and I don't think I've ever drank a green juice. You know, and when you're thinking of juice colors, green wouldn't be probably my first choice. But this is, it's unbelievable. Yeah, it, it, it's definitely one that surprised will surprise you. Yeah. It is our number one seller, the bunch greens. Really? So it's the perfect way to start a morning. Okay, so for those of you who don't like your vegetables, and especially green vegetables, and I know that there are a lot of you, you've got to try True. bunched greens. Bunched True greens. organics. Bunched yes. greens. It's fantastic. So how how was the organic line, juice line, developed? Well, we, we studied the super premium juice market, uh -huh. and there's a void in the market for organic juices, believe it or not. Um, there are all natural um, juices in, in, in the market or, or beverages that are claimed to be all natural, uh -huh. the nakeds, the Odwalas, but there's really not a line of organic. Okay. And given that we have the vegetable supplies for organic and the growth that mm -hmm. we're seeing in the mm -hmm. organic category... It's a $32 billion food and beverage category now. So it makes sense to be there. <laughs> exactly. Uh, we, we opted that we would try. We have the retail relationships and um, are, are really establishing strong distribution across the United States okay. with this product. Okay, so you have good old carrot, pure carrot. Pure carrot. Pure carrot. You have wild berry blend. You right. have tropical mango, and that sounds really good. I love mango. It is good. You have blended blue, and then you have banana berry crush. Otherwise known as strawberry banana. Really? Really. Okay, so yeah. where do the names come from? We just we, sitting around a table? <laughs> no, a lot of thought and okay. effort went into okay. the, the names. Uh, we, we, we basically, yeah, a lot of brainstorming. And okay. we wanted something that was fanciful, catchy, and, and one that would do well, that would stick in your mind when you're at store level. Okay. Another aspect of our juice, when you look at it, we're showing the color of the juice. It, oh, this is a right. clear bottle with very few graphics on it. So our goal here is to show off the ingredients that uh -huh. go inside the beverage. Okay. And that's, that's unique in, in, in this category. Usually you'll see an overwrap with pictures of fruit and vegetables. We chose to go more of a retro style mm -hmm. bottle milk uh -huh. milk like bottle right that's what and, it reminds and really me of. really show off what, what we have inside the bottle the ingredients okay now i did not notice you shaking them as you were setting them up i mean what you see is what you get in the juice bottle it, it, yeah we, we always settling is natural okay so always shake before you always drink. shake okay yes okay and the tributes as you'll 
as you will find in this juice is it's a nice thick puree style juice mm. so strawberry banana strawberry banana or banana, banana berry, berry crush. crush okay yes uh, when, when we developed mm. the flavors we we studied the juice and smoothie category mm -hmm. That accounts for about 77% of the overall super premium category. Uh -huh. With that, we then looked at the top seven flavors and eliminated pomegranate. We're not into pomegranate. We'll leave that up to Paramount and Palm. <laughs> right. So right. Um, that's how we developed it. We took the top six flavors, developed the juices. And our number one goal is, one, first and foremost, it had to be organic. Right. And equally as important is it had to taste good. Well, it so, does. It's thick. It's rich. What I like about it, it's full of flavor, but it's not overly sweet. Some juices can be sweet, and I, I frankly don't need the sugar or want the sugar, but this is naturally good. <laughs> right, right, so, and that's it. It's all natural ingredients. Well, that's fantastic. So where can I find true organic juices? Today, here in, here in the Kern County area, or Bakersfield area, uh -huh. you can find it at your local Lassen store. Vons, mm -hmm. and then as you move across the the U.S., we're in Whole Foods nationally. We're also in HEB if you're in Texas, um, and and some of the Kroger banners as well. So oh, you'll fantastic. find it in Safeway, Vons, Kroger, m m most of the the the, the national uh, retailers. Okay, so when did you actually launch this? How long has it been on the market? We had a what we call a soft launch in uh -huh. March. Okay. where we had a, a select few retailers bring okay. it on. Okay. And um, a, about a month ago, we, we launched it nationally. Okay. So we opened it up to, to all retailers. Oh, that's great. And how does the price of this juice um, compare to organic fruit and other vegetable juices that are out there? It, the, um, the price of the juice is mm -hmm. a comparison into other organic fruits and vegetables. Oh, great. When, okay. you, when you compare it to a non-organic like um, product, uh -huh. it's about twenty percent higher. Okay, but you're you're getting organic with this. You're getting one hundred percent organic, right. GMO free. Fantastic! Thank you so much for being here, and I, I hope you leave these bottles behind. They are yours. <laughs> nice. Th thank you for having us. <laughs> oh, this has been fantastic. Thanks for being here, and good luck. And I'm going to look for these in um, my neighborhood grocery store. Excellent. So. We appreciate it. Okay. Take okay, care. Thanks, Cindy. I'm Cindy Pollard with the Greater Bakersfield Chamber of Commerce. We're going to take a quick break for a word from our sponsors. And when we come back, Patrick Birchfield from Brown Armstrong Accountancy Corporation is going to be here with some tax tips for the end of the year. Stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs> 